Welcome back to All's Caps with former Capitals defenseman Carl Alsner and NBC Sports Washington's Alexa Landis story. I'm AP hockey writer Steve Wino. And now, of course, Carl's favorite portion of the show, Carl's Stupid Questions. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we did a little yeah. rundown of how, how it's going to work. So Alexa's uh, aware, but still somewhat in the dark, so this should be fun. <laughs> um, okay, so question number one, what's your favorite type of food? Like, no, I don't, I don't necessarily mean like, like a French fry or pizza. I mean, like, uh, um, ethnicity, like, what do you typically like to go for if you're going to order something? Mm. Okay. Um, I already feel like I'm the worst at this game. Um, <laughs> cause I'm like, it's like Italian, but not really, uh, uh, let's think my favorite type. Okay. You know what? No, besides like a dish, my favorite type would be like sushi or pokey like that type does yeah. that count as a, as a oh type yeah thing? absolutely okay. it does i mean i grew up in southern california so I, sh- I should love that type of stuff yes good call yeah Carl, you're, what's you're, yours? You're a sushi guy? not anymore no well that's not true there's a place in montreal if you guys ever go called sushi momo and it's uh it's okay. a plant-based sushi it is di- it's so good like really? Yeah, it, I hadn't had sushi for quite a while. And then we've heard about this place and I tried it and it's solid. And then there's another place that we, me and you had talked about, Alexa, called Planta. In yeah, Bethesda. did you try it? How was it? Yeah, I tried it. It's good. They got, I think they have like four or five different rolls. I'd say two of them are getting close to Sushi Momo. Not quite there, but <laughs> but they're getting there. So how about you, Wine? Are you into sushi? Oh, I'm a sushi guy. I was going to say, Momiji in, in DC is my favorite. It's right by, by the arena there. I know your studio is not quite there, Alexa, but like Mamiji, they're still doing takeout for now, but that, that's that's a great one. And, and uh, Sushi Rock in uh, mm. in Courthouse is also yeah. great. I, I, I love trying different sushi spots around around DC. Nice. All right. Well, we'll get out, the, out there at some point. Okay. This is this next one. I, I wore this shirt specifically for this question. Formula I don't know One. If, yes. Like that? <laughs> yes. I didn't know if this would sway you at all, but what's your favorite? uh let's if we can do both let's do both favorite movie and favorite tv show okay i feel like now because you're wearing that shirt drive to survive is my new favorite <laughs> yeah. ferrari girl over here but i'm still watching charlie <laughs> claire and uh carlos signs my two favorite yeah um so i would say drive to survive i'm also a fan of some of the bravo like you know real hot size of beverly hills uh below deck those type of fun things as well if i'm not yeah. watching sports that's what i'm watching favorite movie uh, one, I'm probably going to get minus points for this. I'm like the worst <laughs> movie person ever. Ask Alan May. He's literally embarrassed by me. Uh, I always say like the blind side is my favorite movie. Like that's yeah. so random. Oh, that's but, a good uh, movie though. Uh, love the movie. Yeah. So heartfelt. Any rom-coms I like as well. Uh, but yeah. I definitely say I'm more of the sports person. You could ask my husband the movie questions. I'm the worst. And actually he doesn't even like watching movies with me because I just talk the whole time. And I'm like, <laughs> like what's going on? Like, wait, why is this for, he goes, <laughs> this is a good movie. Just sit back and watch it. So I guess the blind side, if I had to pick one, but definitely okay. movies are not my strong suit. <laughs> okay. That, no, that's all good. Okay. Th- this one might actually throw you for, well, it might, I don't know. I like to, I like to throw this one in there, especially because in honor of spring right now, um, what's your favorite flower? Mm, favorite <laughs> flower. Okay. And you can say whole wheat, whole wheat or all purpose flower. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was the first that's the first time I heard this question someone said that and they said whole wheat flour because they didn't really? understand I okay. meant like actual flowers well obviously cherry blossoms are beautiful um right. but I feel like roses like I just got married too. all my flowers were just a bunch of roses hydrangeas whites and pinks um yeah. so I guess I'm in the cherry blossom theme of things <laughs> gotcha perfect Carl I, I, did you guys see that the, the nationals cherry blossom uniforms and hats they're they're awesome yeah yeah, yeah, it's so sweet. I love that they're doing that. Are the Caps doing anything like that? I don't they think have, so. The Wizards yeah, unveiled Wizards. the jerseys. No okay. Capitals yet, but I know I've seen on my Twitter, all the fans are, they're putting together their, you know, jerseys with the artwork to try to persuade the Capitals to do something. So yeah, I think right. the Nationals, like, record sales for theirs on the first day of all their hats and oh, yeah. gear. And I think they're wearing them coming up here soon in a series. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Well, you know, it's, it's, this is so interesting is that, like, I think it's the same with pretty much all sports except for hockey, as far as I know, that they can give away their jerseys to whoever they want. You know, like I met one, one of the guys on the Nats the one time and, and uh, he asked if, we, if I wanted to trade jerseys. I'm like, well, I can, I can get a jersey for you from the shop. And, and yeah, he's like, okay, sweet. I'll, I'll just give you my one from this year because I'm not, I'm hurt right now, so I don't even need it. And I'm like, wait a sec, like you can just take your jersey and give it away. Like soccer players do it all the time. Football, and- football guys like, trade jerseys on the field. Well- 
Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. not allowed to do that. You have like your specific jerseys when you're done, they go straight to the team and we get one at the end of the year usually is what it is. And that's it. And that's like, I, I wish like it would have been, it'd be so sweet to be able to trade jerseys with guys on the ice. Like, yeah. I think that would have been so you much fun. One, I feel like hockey, you guys are too. Like I would never, if fans see you guys like trading jerseys, they would be like, what the heck? Like we should, yeah. you know. It would like, have to but, happen behind the scenes. But then, you know, you guys do like the sticks. Like I'm always shocked yeah. that the players sticks. are giving out the sticks, which Alan yeah. has told me, you know, you guys, I think there's like a certain amount that maybe you guys can give out, but. You yeah. Know. Yeah. We, I, yeah, I have a, I think I have about 80, between 80 and 90 sticks of, oh that God. I've collected over the year. And I still need, it's funny, like I, of guys on other teams, I have almost nobody from who I played with. Cause I always just figured oh, I'll just somewhere down the line, I'll get it. Now, yeah. now I don't have them. So got to work on that. Um, got to knock on their doors and get them. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. Um, next one. Uh, if you're going on a vacation, would you rather go on a beach vacation more of like a wintry vacation or sightseeing vacation? Beach. Beach for sure. Yeah. I figured you were going to say that. Sightseeing if I was like in Europe, probably going through like Italy and all, you know, all yeah. that, but beach, beach for sure. Beach. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Is there a particular <laughs> beach? I know, I know you're a Southern California person. Yep. Uh, I think anywhere in Southern California, my husband's mm -hmm. from the Dominican, so he would say the Caribbean beaches, but I would say the sure. Southern California beaches uh, <laughs> have them beat. So, and also in Orange County, if anyone hasn't been, the Orange County beaches um, are just so beautiful. Some of those down there with all the Crystal Cove beach, I think with all the rocks and all that is so beautiful. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Carl, were, were you and Manny just in Mexico? Yes, we were in Cancun. Yeah. Nice, really nice. But like the water's crazy. Like yeah, the like waves and Oh my God. So choppy. These waves at one point that, I mean, I didn't go close enough to look, but they look like they were easily 15, 20 foot waves. Like, and people want to go in there. I'm just like, <laughs> first of all, sharks, second of all, <laughs> riptides, like not happening. Ever. I know in Cabo. Yeah. They Cabo. I, I've been there a few times and I do think it's beautiful is they don't, they have a bunch of signs. Like typically they don't want you in the water. Cause it's just not the best like yeah. you're on the beach or in the pool, but you're not in the water. Yeah, people are nuts. Anyways, <laughs> um, okay, this is a new question. Broke out just for today. Okay. okay, what is a better vessel for a breakfast sandwich? Is it toast? Is it English muffin? Or is it a bagel? Ooh, okay, it's so like what I'm putting my sandwich on. Yeah. Okay. Normally, I'm an English muffin person, but I feel like that's on its own. So I would do the bagel with the sandwich, but potentially, you know, I've seen it to not have too much fluff. You know, you get rid of like the filling inside the bagel. To do oh, it. oh yeah. wow. I forget what that's called, but I know that's a thing. I don't know if it's like make it, I don't know what it is, but you take out the filling inside the bagel and you put it on. Interesting. I've never heard that. Why well, no, you, you want to say something? <laughs> you know, you, next time you ask this question, you have to add biscuit as an option. Like oh, you, biscuit. Biscuit has to be. I, ha, I had one of these at a place called Toast in, in New Orleans yesterday for, for brunch, and it was out of this. A really well done biscuit be, yeah. crushes everything. Okay. Oh, wow. Fair. Well, but the problem is, though, biscuits are a little crumbly, though, right? So they kind of. <laughs> again, it's got to be. I said, I said, really well done. If it's done yeah. correctly, it's out of this world. Fair enough. I, I was thinking this that, like, I, I like a bagel, but I like a bagel for something that's like not a sandwich, just spread, you know, like a cream right. cheese or peanut butter or whatever. When I start getting, when I start getting like toppings on there, that's when I start going English muffin or toast, but that's me just, you know, for bonus points for anyone who's next. <laughs> um, okay. And then uh, I was torn on this last question, but I'm going to, I'm going to switch it a little bit. Okay. I got to know what, so you, so you played soccer. Yep. A lot of football hockey is obviously what you're doing now yep. and then michael's into baseball and then you love drive to survive what is your favorite sport oh my gosh so tough uh i always <laughs> say growing up you know in the big football family that football is probably my number one i say it's like my second language like i can just rattle you off names coaches anything any trivia i can even stump my dad sometimes oh, yeah. you know, he's like a sports encyclopedia but i would say football has always been my number one but now my second season with the Caps, hockey is getting up there that I was joking yeah. in my career. I'm like, baby, I'm going to stay in hockey. I love it. I love all the guys. I love the team. Um, it's so tough right now because Drive to Survive is Carl. I just got into it. He's on my Instagram. <laughs> oh. That's like, that's getting up there as well. Now I'm trying to look up how I can go to one of these events. But uh, it's a, now yeah. I'm trying to figure out who I know and all these things. I'm like, this price for these tickets is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to go media credentials, right? That's yeah. The we got this is okay so this is part of my plan is NBCSN needs to start covering the masters 
and Formula One. So that just so you get to, just so you go to Augusta. Yeah. Just so I go to Augusta, and then so I can go to Monaco and watch uh, watch the yeah. Grand Prix. So yeah, you know we're we're, work, we're working on it right now. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll go with you into those meetings to make yes. sure that happens. That's yes, perfect. please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, that's all six. Let me just quickly add these up here. Um, Okay, Japanese was really cool. All I know uh, is I better get more points than Alan May got. That's all I care about. <laughs> oh, Alan talked too long. We couldn't even ask him the questions. Yeah, yeah we, hadn't, so, we hadn't gotten there yet. So we have yeah. to have Alan back and then have him do these questions. Yes, yeah. Bagel. Okay. Oh, bagel. Uh, when, when you're talking about bagel, what flavor bagel? That'll determine a lot. Uh, okay, either sesame or jalapeno cheddar. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, <laughs> points. All right, and football. That brings you to a grand total of 199 points. Ooh, okay. So that takes you into the top 10 for sure. And okay. I think it's really, top five, Carl. It might be. I got it. We have a 201 <laughs> and we have a 270. Yeah, no, you're right. You're you're on the podium yeah. right now. Yeah. Wow. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Hal Ooh. Jalapeno cheddar and drive to survive really did it for you. <laughs> Great job. You are wearing a Mercedes uh, top. So I figured we'd talk, we'd talk Formula One. <laughs> exactly. Had to. Well, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Congrats on, on, on the podium performance. Uh, Alexa Lannister, thank you very much for joining us on Auscast. Thank you so much for having me and go Caps. Thanks, guys. And yeah. next time we talk to you, uh, Carl, we got a special guest coming on again, again later this week. Yes, we do. We have uh, Angela Price and Julie Petrie coming on who are in charge of line change, which is the sweater that uh, Alexa is wearing. So it'll be, be pretty fun. That'll, that'll, that'll be fun. Uh, thank, thanks all, all of you for listening and we'll talk to you later on Allscast. This is AP Hockey writer Steve Wino with former Capitals defenseman Carla Osner, the host of the All Caps podcast on Empire Media. Yeah, I just want to say thanks uh, to everybody that's that's tuning in to the All Caps podcast on the Empire Media YouTube channel. We're going to try and get as much going as we can. Well, we, we, we love doing the video stuff. I hope you also get a chance to listen to, to the John Kime report about the Washington Commanders. We're going to have John on at some point and do some, some cross promotion, but please stay tuned to everything that we have on Empire Media on YouTube and on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.